coming in out of Washington. We have the training materials being provided to teachers on how to start indoctrinating your children starting in kindergarten on the subjects of gender ideology, gender fluidity, and transitioning. Let's take a look at some of the training materials these teachers are being provided on how to start instructing their students. Now, this is scary. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store, get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you're still subscribed to this channel. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video so we can get everybody in the world to watch. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this was extraordinary. I never heard of this young lady before, but watching this video, it literally blew my mind. Somebody that follows me sent me this video and, and, and people love to say that we're conspiracy theorists. Oh, we're just making it up. Oh, y'all just making a big deal out of nothing. Y'all, I mean, y'all talking about the, the transgender stuff. All the kids just want to learn. And the schools aren't teaching these people this. They're not really trying to attack your kids. L listen to what she said. Just, I I'm going to play the video. Listen to what she said. Teachers are being taught to teach this absolutely ridiculous, mind-blowing stuff. I cannot believe as a society we allow these things to happen. Our children are the most vulnerable and the most in need of our guidance and support and how we are letting these schools manipulate and brainwash them, public schools. This is asinine to me. My child goes to school in the state of Washington. I've been trying to get him out of there for I don't know how long. I want to bring him here so he can get a good education. But, you know, y'all you know, know how it go. But let me just play the clip of the way teachers are teaching, not only in that state, but in states around the country, wrote a film. On how to start indoctrinating your children starting in kindergarten on the subjects of gender ideology, gender fluidity, and transitioning. Let's take a look at some of the training materials these teachers are being provided on how to start instructing their students. Beginning in kindergarten and through first grade, they are taught that there are many ways to express your gender. Whenever I was a child, we just called this your personality. In kindergarten, they're teaching your kids about gender expression. And we moved on with it. Considerably more despicable, in the fourth grade, they're teaching these children that their friends and family will be influencing their ideas of gender. Don't trust your family, kids. Trust us. And then they're teaching these fourth graders about sexual orientation. Under what circumstances are fourth graders having sex or even thinking about who they would like to have sex with? If this is not pedophilic behavior, I don't know what is. Specific terminology that comes up many times in this paperwork is instructing teachers to interrupt their students whenever binary notions of gender come up. There is no such thing as a man and a woman. There is only a spectrum. You are erasing your children's identity. Furthermore, the teachers have been instructed to remove gender-based language from the classroom and basically refer to every student as a they person rather than the boys and the girls. Again, erasing identity. This is not inclusivity. This is the systematic desecration of an entire generation. This is stripping your children of the identity that they were born into. The less your children know who they are, the more easily they are molded and controlled. This is not conspiracy anymore. She said, she said it all right there. What's the lady's name? Becky Wise, I think it's her name. Becky Wise, shout out to Becky Wise. Hope y'all go follow her. So matter of fact, I'll follow her now from my page. Listen, this is not a game, ladies and gentlemen. You need to be paying attention to your children in the school because they're teaching them all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, let me just explain this to you. I personally believe my, my son is probably learning some of this bull, bull crap but I think that he know how I feel so he don't come home and tell me exactly what these people are saying because he know I'll pull up but how many of you guys have children that go to school and being indoctrinated and your kids don't want to tell you because they know how you feel about it but they're still getting indoctrinated that's why you gotta pull up I am going to go to my son's school, and I've been going to his school every single year, even though he's been living in Seattle, Washington. It's Seattle, Washington, not necessarily Seattle, in the Seattle area. He's been living in, in, in that area for since he was little. But I go up to the school, I want to check the temperature. What y'all teaching him up in here? What he doing up in here? Oh, no, you can't sit by that kid. You need to sit over here because they're going to get you in trouble, get you a whooping. 
And I want that to be prevalent in the minds of parents. Show up at your kid's school. If you got to take a day off of work, go up in there and meet these teachers. Check their pulse. Check the pulse. You need to know if they're trying to indoctrinate your children or not. And if they are, you need to let it be known to the principal. Go to the school board meetings. You need to show up and show out. I'm not saying be disruptive or do anything criminal, but you need to let them know that this is unacceptable. Kids don't need to be learning about this stuff. I don't know how many times we got to say this. Kids are developing on their own. When they become of age and they understand the context of these things, then the parents should be teaching them, not the school. Because then the kid come home and I say, all these people at the school are complete liars. And they're complete frauds. And now a kid has to lose confidence in the school system because daddy said they're frauds. If you're teaching a kid this, you're a fraud. This is goes against this goes against biology. This goes against the English language. I mean, what in a flying flip are we teaching our kids when you say they, them? You're a singular person. How do you teach math and then turn around and say they, them can be plural? I mean, a person can be plural. A singular person can identify as a plural person. Yeah, that's not even English language. And then you go through looking at DNA, XX and XY chromosomes. This is how people have been identified since the beginning of DNA sampling. How do they know who's the first woman on planet Earth? DNA sampling. How do they know who's been here, who's where? How do they find your identity? When you die, in order for them to identify you, especially if you've been dead for a long time, they have to check your DNA. That is your fingerprint. You only get one of them. It's identical or identifies you as a person. You don't get to say, well, this is my DNA, but you know what? I want to just make up a new DNA. When you go to the doctor, you're going to get that prostate check or you go into the OBGYN. You don't get the pick. You don't get to say, no, I, I'm a woman, so I'm not going to get my prostate check. Okay, good luck with you. You're probably going to have something going on down there. And you can't be a man with your jangling hanging out thinking you're going to a, go to an OBGYN. They're not, they not checking a JJ. They're checking a swangalanger. You don't get the pick. You don't get the pick, bruh. You can feel a certain way. You can identify your personal life. But to the world, this is not reality. Why are they indoctrinating young children who don't know uh, real from fake at this point? They pumping it into the soft heads, soft minds of children so that they can groom them for the future. The future is pedophilia. I don't know why people are even questioning this. The future is pedophilia. They're talking about minor attractive persons. I got another video that I made where they called a teacher on camera. Called her on camera telling people don't judge a person who's attracted to a five-year-old. It's called a minor attractive persons. We've been telling y'all this for centuries. They are moving towards pedophilia. They want your children to be groomed and confused about sexuality. Therefore, they're confused about the sexual relation between an adult and a child. If you, I'm telling you, record the video. Document this. It's going to happen in the next 10 years. They are going to normalize, and they have your kids already primed and ready to go. And then what's going to happen is that when one of these sick adults wants your kid and you try to fight against it, they're going to paint you as a, as a domestic terrorist. They're going to paint you as the bad guy. Don't believe Brandon Tatum. You just wait. And I'm going up to my son's school. As soon as they start, I'm going to give him a little time to breathe a little bit. I'm going right up in that school, and I want to know what the curriculum is. If they teaching this, we going to court. We going back to court. Ain't no way in the world my son should learn anything about this bull crap. This is grooming children. He need to know, Matt, if he making straight A's, then maybe you can send a worksheet home for the parents to interpret. If the kids ain't making straight A's, you ain't got no business talking about this stuff. They, are, they know more about transgender and flip-flopping than they know about math. These kids grew up dumb. They don't know what's going on in the world. But they know what transgender, non-binary, uh, 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 XYZ, AA, NAACP. They know what all that is, but they don't know nothing about common sense. It's just a generation of ignorant people. 
And then they get in the real world and they're mad at everybody because they don't have opportunities. Because you're dumb. You don't know anything. You only know social stuff. You only know how you feel. You don't know reality. You don't understand capitalism. You can't make it in life without understanding the full spectrum of what's going on. But y'all comment in the comment section. Do you think that this is crazy as I say it is? Or do you think Brandon Tatum just making this up? Like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section. I'm out.